Welcome guys to, as you can tell by the title, another movie review and today's movie review is on Power Rangers, um, the movie, um, not the original movie from like, back in the 90s I think it was, I remember it coming out when I was a kid, um, the first one was amazing, Turbo was kind of shit and the series they were all great ex other than the, the original series was great and then I hated it from the others or how they went on to police the dinosaurs it's just like what the fuck <laughs> are you doing but yeah today's video is on the Power Rangers movie um, currently released it is a really really good film they sort of bring the nostalgia back from the series which a lot of it missed I mean they've kind of remastered that original Power Rangers movie which I did like but they brought back the original series stuff like um, Rita is it Rita yeah Rita Repulsa and um, Goldar and stuff like that and like Alpha I think yeah Alpha 5 yeah and Zordon and stuff like that they brought all that stuff back which um, I think this was mainly made for the fans of like my age who was watching the series as a kid and remembers the original movie and all that stuff and I think this was mainly made for them fans because we'd really understand it a lot of people were like kicking off like oh this is going to be shit it's all it so we miss it really because compared to the other films or like, other than the original the second one that came out was really shit and like the graphics and everything that we got today, we really needed it and like this felt more up to date, more adult and more um, more intense, like that it had a meaning behind it. But uh, yeah, they brought back all the original Power Rangers, like Jason, Kimberly, Billy, Zack and Trini and like I said Zordon and Alpha 5 are back. Um, but yeah, freaking all the Power Rangers were amazing obviously. A lot of people were weirded out about how Zack the Black Man weren't the Black Ranger, like in the original. Which a lot of people class it as weird in the original, because it was like, oh, why was the Black Ranger black? Why can't an Asian man be black? Which he was in this, actually. Was he? Was Zack... Was Zack that one? I think he was. I, I don't... Yeah, Zack was the Asian one. <laughs> um, what one was Billy? Billy was the black one, he turned blue, so yeah, they sort of changed characters around, but they had like one of each, I think what they say, it's five teenagers, five different colours and five different races, I think it's because it meant Jason was like the American and Kimberly was like, um, I think, I can't remember what like, nationality Kimberly was from, Billy was obviously got black, Zach was Chinese and Trini was like Mexican sort of stuff and I liked how they like done that, it was like a different religion, like race for each ranger which is pretty cool and um, yeah and the villain as well Rita Repulsa how she got a different take like I think from the original there used to be sayings about how she used to be the green ranger and in this one it gives you more backstory to why Zordon was the red ranger, Rita Repulsa was the green ranger, she turned on him and I do like, she played a really good villain, I will give her that, um, what was the actor's name, Elizabeth Banks, she played an amazing, amazing villain, definitely kicked, well, it, that just what it needed was an amazing, amazing villain, it was like the original one with uh, Mr Ooze or something, I think it was, but she did re really play, I preferred this, re I preferred this Power Rangers to any other Power Rangers out there, and, um, yeah, I love like, uh, oh, what are they called now? Uh, what are the things called that the morph into the morph through? Oh, my brain just does not work. Zords, yeah. The Zords at the world are pretty cool, like the proper metallic, and when they formed as well, which was pretty cool, each one had to move a limb of their body, which in the original program and film. Like all of them controlled the whole body where this one one has to control the leg the other leg the arm the arm which was pretty cool I really did enjoy it and gold oh, was amazing oh he was just pure gold <laughs> nothing else to say but uh, yeah I really did enjoy this film like I said it brought the nostalgia back for us fans who used to watch it as kids and it can even bring in kids of these days because and I noticed as well there was a big 
sort of connection with stuff like it had a massive twilight feel with the surrounding and then at the start it felt like breakfast club pretty much because they're all in detention they meet up become friends in detention breakfast club's right there maybe one of the best movies ever but uh, yeah there's a lot of like things that this film can connect with which they try to bring in of today's films and this just felt better than the series and the movies put together. This man one of my favourite Power Rangers things at the end. And there is a small little Easter egg at the end of the film. I ain't gonna say what it is, but it is amazing. And it makes way for number two, which I cannot wait for. And uh, yeah, um, before I end this, I'm going to give it a nine potatoes out of ten. Um, I think if I think that if it had to add ten. Out of 10, it would have had, had to have, obviously, a bit more fight scenes. Obviously, it takes a while for them to become the Power Rangers, which I did enjoy. But there was a quite a, a lot of advertisement stuff in there, especially Krusty Cream. There was a lot of it. If there was less advertisement stuff, I might have enjoyed it a bit more. But it needed more fight scenes, in my opinion, because that's what the Power Rangers was about. But if there was more fight scenes, it would have got a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but a 9 out of 10 feels like this one should be for me anyway, because I enjoyed it so much. But let me know what you guys thought. Let me know your rating down below in the comment section. Smash a like button if you did enjoy this video. And make sure you also hit that subscribe button with the notification button. It takes about 3 seconds to do. I'll sit here and wait till you've done it. Should have been done. But uh, yeah. Um, and when you do that, you join the Potato Men Army. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Also, check out all my social media links down below in the description. You can find Freedom, there are free networks to join. Make sure you definitely check them out. But for now, I've been dominating Spud. I love you, Potato Men Army. I hope you're happy with these free uploads that come out today. I'm happy to bring them to you guys. I love doing videos for you guys. And yeah. And also make sure you do hit that notification button because we have another Resi episode out tomorrow. Maybe with a remothered, tortured fathers video. I think that's what the game's called. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll be dominating squad. I love you, Potato Army. Like always, don't forget to stay starchy.